Something unusual is happening around 3i Atlas, and this time, it's not about its trajectory or where it came from. It's about how it's behaving right now. Over the past few weeks, the Hubble Space Telescope has quietly captured a series of images that reveal a jet structure unlike anything normally seen in familiar comets. These images were taken on November 30th, December 12th, and December 27th, 2025, and when they're processed using a larsen seconina rotation gradient filter, a very strange pattern emerges. At first glance, on the largest scale, the behavior looks almost familiar. Extending out to nearly 100,000 kilometers from the object is a dominant jet structure known as an anti-tail. Unlike a typical comet tail that points away from the sun, this anti-tail points toward it. That alone is already unusual, but what really matters is how stable and focused this jet appears to be across multiple observations. Zooming in closer to within about 24,000 kilometers of the nucleus, the picture becomes far more complicated. Instead of one dominant outflow, there are three distinct inner jets. One points roughly away from the sun. The other two shoot out sideways, separated by angles of about 120 degrees from each other. That symmetry is striking. A full circle divided cleanly into three equal parts is not something we commonly observe in natural comet activity. Even more intriguing is the fact that these three jet axes don't stay fixed. Their orientation changes over time, consistent with a rotating nucleus. Measurements suggest that 3i Atlas completes one full rotation approximately every 16 hours. On paper, a natural explanation exists. In a conventional comet model, jets are caused by pockets of volatile ice on the surface. As sunlight heats these regions, gas escapes, carrying dust with it and forming jets. If the nucleus is rotating, different active regions would come in and out of sunlight, changing the jet orientation. The smaller jets, which vary in length by roughly 5,000 kilometers over about eight hours, could plausibly be explained this way. With a jet speed of around 0.2 kilometers per second, consistent with the thermal speed of sublimating volatile molecules, those changes are reasonable. But the large anti-tail jet is a different story. That jet is not only much larger, extending an order of magnitude farther than the inner jets, it is also remarkably narrow. It is about 10 times longer than it is wide. That kind of collimation suggests extraordinary stability. For a jet like that to remain coherent over tens of thousands of kilometers while the object rotates every 16 hours, the rotation axis itself must be nearly aligned with the direction of the sun. In other words, the nucleus would have to be spinning almost directly toward or away from the sun, with the jet precessing only slightly, like a lighthouse beam that barely wobbles. The estimated misalignment required is less than 6 degrees. Statistically, that kind of alignment is rare. If rotation axes are randomly oriented in space, the probability of such a close alignment with the sun's direction is roughly two-tenths of one percent. That doesn't make it impossible, but it does make it uncomfortable. Now add the second layer of discomfort. The inner jets form a symmetric triple pattern, separated by precisely 120 degrees. In a purely natural model, this would require three major active regions arranged in near-perfect angular symmetry on a rotating nucleus. That kind of configuration is not impossible, but it is also not something we commonly observe. So we are left with two unusual features at the same time, a highly symmetric triple jet structure on small scales and an extremely stable, tightly aligned anti-tail jet on large scales. Individually, each could be explained by natural processes under the right conditions. Together, they push the limits of what we normally expect from an icy body drifting through interstellar space. This is where interpretations begin to diverge. The conservative explanation stays grounded in gas dynamics, thermal conduction, and rotational geometry. According to this view, heat conducted through the nucleus activates subsurface volatile pockets in a way that just happens to produce this symmetry, while a fortunate alignment of the rotation axis allows the anti-tail jet to remain stable over long distances. But there is another question that cannot be ignored. Could these features be technological signatures? That does not mean they are technological. It means the geometry and stability are sufficiently unusual that the question itself is legitimate. 
symmetry, collimation, and long-term directional stability are characteristics that, in other contexts, often raise eyebrows. At this stage, there is no proof of anything artificial. None but there is also no clean, comfortable explanation that makes all of these observations feel routine. And that is exactly why 3i Atlas remains under close scrutiny. Future observations will matter enormously. If the jet symmetry persists across changing solar angles, or if the anti-tail maintains its alignment longer than expected, the natural models will face increasing strain. If, on the other hand, the structure becomes chaotic, breaks symmetry, or fades as volatile sources are exhausted, the case for an ordinary interstellar comet will strengthen. This is not a moment for conclusions. It is a moment for patience. What makes 3i Atlas special is not that it proves anything extraordinary, but that it refuses to settle neatly into our expectations. It sits right on the boundary between what we understand and what still forces us to ask uncomfortable questions. For now, the data is speaking softly, but it is speaking clearly, and the message is simple. This object deserves attention, caution, and time. Because whether the answer turns out to be mundane or profound, 3i Atlas is showing us something we don't yet fully understand, and that alone makes it worth watching.